Take 106. Yeah, when this all started, I was full of bones. I'm not a dancing bear. Yes, the people you are. on YouTube yes, you are just gonna yes, yes, you come out, drag me out on my little nose chain and get me to dance. If you're like, oh, this guy's not high energy enough, look at yourself. <laughs> look at yourself sitting there. Anyway, so what we were gonna say is we are off to Europe. We've had enough of Australia because it's winter here and we're not the winter sphere, we're the summer sphere. So we're going up to the northern hemisphere where there is summer. We're going to Germany and then we're going to Poland because Mark is a big Poland fan. Suzanne, when I met her, she told me she was half Polish mm -hmm. because her mum was born in Poland. Mm -hmm. Now I'm taking her back there to her roots. Funny thing is, I don't speak a single word yeah. of Polish. Mark's been learning though. So by the end of this trip, my aim is to be able to order and have small talk and hi and say goodbye in a restaurant or in a cafe in Polish. <laughs> I think we can get Suzanne there. Hey, the yes. All right. Cheers. Cheers. Now before we go anywhere, we still had to enjoy a proper Australian winter's day. You know it's winter and this is happening. It's a snow machine. I got the spotted there. It's a starfish. in Germany. I was really only there for one full winter and half another one. Um, but it was a nightmare. A prison of cold which I couldn't escape. You don't get that in Australia. Like you might get like a, a week where it's raining the whole week or something. But winter's always broken up by days like this. He didn't know. He didn't know what to do. I honestly thought I'd lose my mind. This is like what? It's mm. 20 degrees today. Which we yeah. think is a bit chilly. It yeah. has been cold at night. I mean, we're wearing a long jumpers and that. That's that's win winter clothing in Australia. Fairly yeah. thin jumpers. Got to put on a jumper <laughs> if you want to survive. Anyway, my arm's getting tired. Yeah, well, we're going to so. just enjoy Hillary Side Harbour for a little bit because we won't have that in the next few weeks. Yep, all right. Weeks. Cool story, Suzanne. Mm. All right. Save the arm. All right. <laughs> we'll see you Cheers. later. Oh, someone's living dangerously. Oop. Oh. Look how pretty this is. It is super pretty, so calm. There's lots of um, puffer fish down there. I'll see if I can film one in a minute. Max says he's getting bored. Yeah, I am. With this beautiful view. Yeah, well, I've already seen it. How can you get bored with this? Because I've seen it, Suzanne. Now I've reached the limits. I will never reach the limits. Not with things like this. It. Look at that. What? Fuck, it's hard to see. Can't see it. It's I have to go around. around. I've seen something it's super cool. Way. It's going back this way. Sir. Which way? Your it's way? Here, it's here. Quick, run around. Run around. It's going to go under. But yeah, very hard to see now. Far out! <laughs> Something cool has happened! That was a pretty massive stingray. That was a massive stingray! How cool, Max spotted it. Mark got all excited. That's why you've got to save up. Cool! You've got to save up your excitement. Can't get just, excited about everything. Just riding the boat harbour. Yeah. Huh. That was massive. Wow! And now I feel ready to say goodbye to Australia and get on the plane. <laughs> that was a farewell from the stingray. I'm going to Poland to learn Polish and drink coffee. <laughs> and I hope that it is successful and everything is great. Was that too stiff? Okay, I'm going to Poland <laughs> to learn Polish and Throw back some coffees and everything's gonna be great.